Chair calls John Eric Johnson, testifying on behalf of himself, testifying for House Bill 3785. Uh, yes, my name is John Eric Johnson. Uh, I am testifying for House Bill 3785 in support of 3785. <clears throat> uh, I'm a lieutenant uh, for a professional fire department and a licensed paramedic uh, also. Uh, this is my son, Layton. He's six years old. And this is my wife, Rachel, my mother, Lana, and then our <clears throat> nurse is here taking care of Layton. So she deserves a good a good award for spending this all this time to come take care of him. Come take care of him. I think uh, you all do. Yes, yes, right. <clears throat> I just want to tell you a little bit about our journey and uh, our story that we've uh, that we've encountered. My son is six years old. He cannot walk. He cannot talk. He cannot crawl. Um, his he hasn't reached any milestones as of this point. Uh, he's at about a three month old skill level at this time. Layton was had a normal uh, normal birth, and you know everything was good. Uh, with him and about nine months old or he really didn't progress much uh, from uh, up until about nine months old. Uh, Leighton experienced his first seizure when he was nine months old. Uh, up until then he still couldn't walk or talk and he wasn't developing hitting any milestones and then he had a seizure when he was nine months old and that day changed our lives uh, forever. We took Leighton to the hospital and and they just said that he might have a febrile seizure he might have uh, just kind of being septic and we'll give you some antibiotics and we'll send you home. So they sent us home from the hospital and that night uh, I was lying in bed, Leighton was next to me and my wife was uh, was on the outside of him and uh, we woke up and Leighton kind of kind of hit us and uh, he was seizing and posturing up and when we woke up he was blue, pale, uh, full out complex seizure. Uh, so we finally got him out of that seizure and uh, we headed straight to Dallas for children's trying to seek expert medical uh, advice medical treatment uh, on the way to children's he has several seizures uh, probably 10 seizures on the way way to Dallas uh, once we got to Dallas I think he had a seizure that lasted 15 minutes and that's really where our journey began uh, so scared we didn't know what was going on um, what we could do for him uh, children's we, we stayed in there for like basically a month in and out for a month and uh, they did all their testing millions of dollars worth of testing and everything came back normal with Leighton uh, from head to toe physically uh, physiologically everything was was fairly normal with Leighton except he's not normal he's not able to walk or talk or crawl and he's having all these seizures so they sent us home with some seizure medicines and pretty much said good luck you know so <clears throat> so really that's when we were lost as parents we want to do the best care that we can for our child but, but we were lost, we didn't know what to do. So we started contacting every hospital that we possibly could, try to find the best pediatric neurologist that we could, try to help us with our son. We sat there and watched our son suffer every single day, every single night. Uh, he was having seizures. He still has, he's on 20 seizure medicines as of today, and he's still having up to 30 seizures a day with those 20 medicines. Mm. He was having more previously. We've kind of got a little bit of control stabilization, but with 20 medicines. So we contact all these hospitals. We're trying to find out uh, what we can do to, to help him. And uh, so, I mean, basically his story kind of got out there with uh, doctors and, and he's had a one year study at Harvard University uh, did on him. His uh, biopsies are in Japan, France, Australia. A team out of Australia is trying to do research on him to see what kind of, what actually his undiagnosed neurologic, neurologic disorder is. Uh, so there's there's so many people out there, Baylor and Children's, everybody trying to trying to help him, help find out what's happening. But still, yet we're still pretty much at square one. Of he hasn't developed, he's still having seizures. Uh, we're still watching him suffer every day. We get he gets fed through a tube. I mean, he hasn't even had a drink of water in two years because the medicines that he's on makes him salivate. He's not able to not able to drink or anything. So we're here supporting, and we, we've, over the last year, we've learned about medical cannabis and how it can help children with uh, epilepsy and, and, and other, other disorders also, but specifically for him, of taking someone who's having multiple seizures like uh, Alexis or Charlotte, uh, having hundreds of seizures a day, and able to take uh, cannabis oil in the morning and evening and go down to zero, 
and we were begging we would love to have that opportunity just to see i mean we've done everything we possibly could and going down the correct channels that we could with seeing the doctors and going to different facilities and trying medicines and and to the point where we we feel like we've done as much as we can i'll finish up i'm sorry it's taking so long but basically we're here pleading you to consider this bill uh, we just can't watch our son suffer uh, any longer we tried everything we could to help Layton's quality of life we I mean honestly our whole life is surrounded by Layton Layton has sanctified us and changed us from who we were to who we are today and we owe everything to him he is so special to us I mean I, I just can't <clears throat> I can't describe how, how much uh, he means to us he he's the only person I've ever seen who has reached their destiny and he his destiny and his purpose of life was to help change others. And everyone who meets him, he's changed. And he's changed us. And, and I'm so grateful that. So now here we are. And, and I'm, a, I'm a lieutenant of a professional fire department. My wife was a physical therapist at a hospital. Now she has to be a stay-at-home mom because of his conditions worsening. And uh, we're fixing to uproot our whole life. Everything, our family, our friends, our support system, our doctors, our physical therapists, everybody, our nurse, uh, everybody, we're fixing up route to move to Colorado just so that we can attempt to try this medicine. I just don't understand that why we have to take those drastic steps, which I would in a heartbeat. I would do anything for him. I would move to wherever it is that we need to move to, and that's not an issue. I just love what our family and everything and it's not as easy to to leave as everyone thinks so uh please please consider this bill it possibly could save my son's life thank you i'm here for questions thank you questions members well he is a lucky little boy to have such a wonderful support team around him. 